Hey guys, it's Luigi Cal here and I'm back with another pre-made setup video tutorial. Today I'm going over Skyblock Reborn and how to install it onto your server. I know that I already have some video like this previously about how to install any pre-made setup on your server. However, this is now 2021 and I want to go ahead and do every video unique for the setup. So every setup should have their own video on how to install it there. So the first one I'm starting with is Skyblock. So if you follow this tutorial, this is all the steps for just Skyblock to get Skyblock working perfectly on your server. So let's go. First thing you're gonna notice is the panel, which I am logged into now. Um, I am using the Premier Setups host. We actually have a hosting business now. So if you need some hosting to go with your pre-made setup, drop on to premiersetups.com. We have you completely covered. All the video tutorials from now on are going to be done using this host, which does run off Pterodactyl. So if you're ever getting a little bit stuck, like, wait, I'm not seeing the same thing, you may be on a different panel type and it may be a little bit different for you. So if you want absolute 100% you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing, this host is the way to go. I will leave a link. I think it's honestly pretty great. We got some amazing prices. If you need some hosting, this, this is definitely where I would go. All right, and the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the SFTP settings. If we open this up here, you will see the connection address and the username to connect to your server. Connect via FileZilla. Um, I've already made a tutorial on how to connect to your server via FileZilla, so I will link that as well. I'll probably be making a new one to show you exactly how to do it with this panel and such, but there is already one created, so I will go ahead and link it now. As soon as you're connected, then we could start uploading files and such, and this would be the first thing there. The next thing there is go ahead and pull up the Skyblock Reborn here. Um, this is just the download straight away. Here's all the information here, all the files and such. So there should be a link when you get this. There'll be a literal link to the video tutorial you're watching now. But I don't have that yet because the tutorial is not made. So first things first, if you want to install it, we're on FileZilla. I just connected and these files were already here. We're going to go ahead and actually just clear these out. Just go ahead and delete them. We don't need them. As they clear out, go ahead and open up the server files on the actual download. And let's go ahead and we're gonna drag and drop all of them right into the base directory there. I'm gonna go ahead and let this upload all the way and then I'll get back to you guys when it's fully done uploading. All right guys, all the files finished uploading, everything uploaded successfully there. So there's a few steps we need to do to get this all working properly. First thing, you see the spigot-18 Point eight dot jar. Go ahead and rename that. We just want to call it no capitals or anything server dot jar. That'll let the panel know, hey, this is the file you want to run. You technically could turn this on now, but there is one other thing that you are going to want to do, um, and that is get the NPCs or citizens working. Now, for licensing reasons, citizens won't allow me to include the plugin, although they have a completely free link, and I've already linked it right here in dependencies. So if you go to the download, you go to dependencies, you'll see it says the same message there. You just click this link and it'll bring up a download. And then you just go ahead and get this download, keep the file. As soon as this file is done downloading, we're gonna open up the plugins folder. And we are gonna go ahead and drop in citizens into the plugins folder. After you get citizens installed, and you've renamed the spigot file to server.jar, you are ready to turn on the server here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the server. We'll make this a little bit bigger for you. Close that out and hit start. It should be loading here. See how it says server.jar there? That is why we need to rename it. Um, you may need to accept the EULA. Go ahead and do that, and then it'll restart the server again. And it's gonna go ahead and fully load up. All right, and as soon as we get this all going, we're gonna go ahead and direct connect and put in the IP we want to connect to here. If you don't know the IP and you're on our hosting, go to my servers. It'll bring up a list of all your servers, all their names and their IPs. If you ever wanna change the name as well, a little side note here, right down here, server name. You can change the name so you can name them what you want so you don't get them confused. But as soon as you get that IP, go ahead and join the server. And you can see we're in, everything is here, including the NPCs and the server is completely ready for you to start customizing and get it all going. I will be making another customization video on just Skyblock and how to change everything inside of just Skyblock. 
But for now, there is a generic one that you can view on the channel as well. All right, guys, and that clears up how to install Skyblocker Born on the Premiere Setups hosting service there. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at discord.premieresetups.com. I have an amazing staff team, and I'm always around just hanging out, ready to help you guys out. If you liked this video, you thought it was helpful, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe there. I am trying to grow this. I want to give you more video tutorials on not even things just Premiere setups related. I want things that are not based on the pre-made setups. I want them on normal Minecraft things and a subscribe would definitely help grow this channel and help a whole bunch of people get the server that they all deserve. Besides for that, guys, appreciate your time. If you need anything else, contact me on Discord. Luigi Cal out.